we're working hard. We're working hard right now. We, uh, we've got a young and experienced team right now, and um, they're probably working harder than any team I've ever had at Oklahoma State at this point in time of the year. But we're behind also, and we don't need a game tomorrow. As much as we need a game, we don't need one tomorrow. But uh, the effort, the attitude has been tremendous, and uh, we're just taking our time as coaches, you know, teaching it once the right way. And uh, there'll be a time where it all clicks, and we're getting closer to that day, hopefully, with Little Rock around the corner. You know, uh, y'all talk about Tony Young dunking, but LaShar Riley dunked it the other day also. So we've got two of them, and, and Precious is right at it. So we're, uh, we're hoping that uh, to throw a couple lob dunks this year and that'll take care of a lot of things. We as coaches meet every day after practice. Okay, who's our starters tonight if we had a game? The next day we do the same thing, there'll be three other starters. There's two people right now that are locked into starting spots, Andrea Riley, Tegan Cunningham. Tegan Cunningham is playing her best basketball of her life right now. We all know sometimes that second year as a junior college, how that light kind of clicks on. That's where she's at right now. But uh, I can't mention one pup without mentioning all of them. They've all had their days. They've all had their days. Probably the most consistent from day one has been Lindsey Keller, 6'2", strong body, um, has had, had, had some tremendous days for us already. Her, her body is Big 12 ready right now, so probably the most consistent has been Lindsey. Well, I mean, I think you're looking at uh, Lakin Garrison, who transferred in, and uh, Carolyn Mobley, both transfers that came in. One, Carolyn's as quick as anybody we have on the floor and brings uh, tremendous defense to the floor, and, and Lakin can shoot the three, two, three feet behind the line. So you got a couple options right there. And both of, both of those can, uh, uh, can move to the one also and let us move Andrew to the two if we need to. And here, you know, I mentioned those two, and then Ali Clardy yesterday scrimmage went five for seven from three. So there's an old senior veteran that says, hey, wait a minute, don't leave me out. Lincoln's shooting stay fairly consistent because it's amazing when you watch her. She does. She shoots three or four feet behind her. She, she really does. And, and uh, you know, again, it's a new system for her also. And she, so she's learning everything that we're doing right now. We've got just a very basic package in right now. And hopefully the package will expand a little bit by Big 12 time. But still, it's just a lot of, of uh, things that they, they learned a different way of where they came from and have to learn it our way. But Lakin has a chance to be, you know, Andrea is so good at penetrating. You know, you better have somebody out there that can, can knock it down. And, and I think that's Lakin and Tegan. I'm telling you, Tegan's shooting lights out. Um, you know, Andrea, right now, it, this time of year, in years past, she's just kind of waiting for the games to start. Not this time. I mean, she is playing her best basketball of her life right now. She's leading this young team. She is – you'll see her put her arm around the, some of the young guard's shoulders and say, hey, hang in there. This is what you should have done. You know, he, yeah, he's yelling at you, but he does love you. You know, those kind of things. And, and – uh, I, I would look for Andrea this year, uh, all her numbers to go up, except maybe scoring. Maybe the scoring comes down and we're a better team. But all the rest of the numbers, shooting percentage, assist, all those numbers I think will go up this year because she has more options surrounding her. This is the deepest, most athletic team we've had. And uh, you, might see, you might see hockey substitutions with this team. We're, we're going to roll them in and out depending on how hard they play. If they don't play hard, they're going to come sit by us on the bench. And uh, we haven't had uh, that luxury to this point at Oklahoma State. So it, even though they're young, these kids have been playing hard and been a lot of fun to coach. Have you found a way to do that on the fly? We're going to figure that out. We're going to see if that's, if that's really we can do it or not. how ultra-patient you and Jim are. And we are ultra-patient. Oh, yeah. I mean, Absolutely. Right, right. Expected one last year didn't didn't really get what they wanted, but you 
I, I'm telling you, all four of them have done a nice job. Now, there's some days they're like, oh, my, please, let's get it, you know. But they are being patient and really working with them. I think all four of those seniors will tell you that they're really enjoying this team and, uh, and the attitudes of these girls. I mean, it, it's, it's nice to have that team back that wants to be coached that uh, understands when we raise our voice a little bit, it's not that we're picking on you, we're just trying to make you better. That's that's the kind of team we have right now. Any questions for Coach Budke? Thank you, sir. All right, thank you all. Hey, one, one more thing. You're trying to, I'm sorry. <laughs> that's okay, it's okay. You guys are going to some exotic courts, aren't you? Uh, Vermont, is that what you're talking about? <laughs> Oh, maybe the Bahamas. Yeah, okay, okay. You got a good travel agent? Uh, you know what? If you, we, we could use one more manager if you want to go. Well, I'm just saying, you know, if there's another radio team, I would. You, you'd, you'd come on, come on. No, it's, uh, we've got an interesting schedule this year, and, and this schedule probably is a little bit too much for, for this team. I mean, we've got a chance to play uh, a Michigan State early. Arkansas Little Rocks, 27 wins last year, got the whole team back. Um, you know, George Washington, a Marist is a top 25 team. As we advance, if we advance in the WNIT, Georgia Tech's top 20, New Mexico, Ohio State's top five. There's a chance to play all those teams. So it's a little, little different schedule. Maybe probably wasn't very smart, to be honest with you.